Hey there, how's it going everybody? Dan here with PlantAbundance.com. Today I'm going to be doing another question and answer video. I get this question all the time on the channel. People are interested in knowing how it is that I allow my backyard chickens to free range the majority of the time and they're not destroying and eating all my plants. So this is a multiple part answer. Hopefully I can convey this in a streamlined fashion. But I would say first and foremost, the most important element to having success uh, letting your chickens free range is the ratio of land to your flock size. So currently I have 10 chickens and I'm gardening on about 5,000 square foot of space. And so that's more than enough space for 10 chickens to roam freely. And seeing as they're intuitive eaters, they generally don't concentrate on one particular area for too long. They graze a little bit here, a little bit there. Definitely land size to flock size is the first factor that plays a role and why I'm having success with the style of raising chickens. Second, I would say the style of gardening that I'm into is an important factor. The majority of the plants growing out here are perennials. And perennial plants over time are able to establish a deeper root system, they're more resilient and robust, and they don't damage very easily. So things like fruit trees and shrubs that have been in the ground for a couple years, even if the chicken goes around and scratches near the base of that or has eaten a few leaves, they're gonna have a really hard time damaging the plant. So planting out perennial plants is another tip that gives us success with this type of a model. Next, I think it's important to mention that I built their chicken coop area in the most shaded part of the yard. So during the heat of the midday, even though the chickens do like to sunbathe, they will typically hang out in their chicken coop area where it's nice and cool. Also, while they're in there, there's plenty of tree collards growing where they can nibble on that. They've also got wood chips in their coop area so they can scratch through that and find insects and worms. And also I do supplement their diet with some organic chicken crumbles. Now again, they're intuitive eaters, so they don't just go at the chicken crumbles and, and get full, but they eat it as needed. And that helps to satiate them and make sure that they're getting a complete nutritional profile so they're not out scavenging throughout the garden in order to try to maintain health. Another important factor to my success is that when I am establishing a new plant into the system, whether it be an annual or a perennial, I'm sure to protect that plant. I build these plant protection cages and I made a video of this in the past so I'll go ahead and put a link on the screen and then below in the description box if you want to check that out. And this has been a highly effective strategy. The chickens are unable to either eat the leaves or scratch around the base of the young plants and once they become more established and mature I can just remove the cage and at that point even if the chickens do go over there and do a bit of nibbling or scratching they're not going to harm this mature plant. So I'd highly recommend protecting any of your younger plants that aren't yet fully established. So those are the main points that come to mind when thinking about why it is we're having success. You know, this is a symbiotic relationship in my mind. The chickens are most definitely garden buddies. They're helping to take the insects out of the garden. They're helping the mulch to break down and they're also adding fertilizer to the soil. In return, they're giving us some delicious backyard eggs. Couldn't ask for much more. And it just brings joy to my heart knowing that we're giving them a good life and just knowing that they're enjoying their day-to-day -day routines. So throughout the year, they free range about 90% of the time. And in the last four months, they've had an open door policy the whole time. And in that entire length of time, they've never once hopped over the fence and gone into a neighbor's yard or anything like that. So things are working out great. And you know, everyone's situation is gonna be a little different and it's gonna call for different measures, but that's why we're able to have success here. And if nothing else, I hope that this video might give you just a few good ideas on how you might be able to implement some of these strategies. And so with that, I hope this video finds you having a great weekend and enjoying your day. I'll be coming at you again real soon with some more content, so stay tuned. Take care, everybody.